Hi, I'm Patrice Dion, and thank you for watching this video. All right, here we're eight feet away from the hole, but I just want to show you how simple this putting stroke is with the GP putter. This side saddle putting, also referred as face on putting, is a simple technique. At that dress, you will notice that the putter shaft is straight down. My left hand and left forearm are not touching my body. I'm leaning to the right side and a little bit forward. You will be able to see that in more detail on some other videos, but by being leaning to the right and forward, I'm able to have my putter shaft straight down. That means that I take the putter head straight back, straight forward. I never open and close the putter head during a putting stroke. This gives us the opportunity to have a perfect pendulum motion. All right, here we're about 25 feet away from home. Again, the same scenario. If you see me at address, the putter shaft is straight down. I'm leaning to the right side. Once I select my line again, I only concentrate on the speed and the distance of my putt. It's pretty rare from 25 feet that you will miss a putt to the left by 6 feet or to the right. But the chance of being short by 6, 10 feet or past the hole by 6, 10 feet happens too often. So that's the reason once I select my line, I concentrate on the speed and the distance. I don't fall in love with the line. I mean, in this case here, these balls are going in, but it's pretty rare from 25 feet, you are able to make those putts. The, what you want to, to accomplish is a tap in. I get often some comments saying that it's difficult to do a light putt with a long shaft putter. Well, here I'm demonstrating that it's, it's pretty simple because I practice 90% of the time from inside of 10 feet. The reason I do that is every time you three putt, that means that you miss your second putt. Obviously you miss your second putt. And that second putt most of the time is inside of six feet. 40% of our score, over 40% of our score in golf is putting. But our, the statistic shows that 50% of our putt are done inside of six feet. Like in this case here, I'm about 60 feet away from the hole. I don't expect to make those putts from that distance, but I expect to hit it close to the hole to have it, uh, a two putt par. So the only thing again I concentrate is on the speed and the distance. I'll be happy if it goes in, but I want to avoid of being short by 10, 15 feet or past the hole. Again, at the address, you will see that I'm leaning again to the right side. My putter shaft is straight down. I don't take a big backstroke. I accelerate into my putt. Every time that I use the GP putter with the side saddle putting technique, I accelerate into my putts. My goal from that distance is to avoid the three putt. If it goes in, all right, it's a bonus, but the chances of going in from those distances is slim, but the chances of making a three putt is enormous. So like in this case here, I did not succeed my uh, six putt from the 60 feet, but it definitely puts a smile on my face when I walk from that distance and they're basically tap-ins. So if you want to get good at like putts, I would, I would suggest you to practice and practice and practice the short putts the better you are from 10 feet, the easier it is for the lag putts. Because when you're 60 feet away and you're very good from 10 feet, it gives you a big bucket. You could be short by 10 feet or past the hole. So that's why that I practice 90% of the time the short putt. Like in this case here, when you will receive the GP putter, I would suggest you to find a straight line of six, six foot like here and do a hundred putts from there. And every time you do this, that means after you hit your six balls, you pick them up, you set up again, you're aligning 
perfectly for the hole. Your putting stroke is getting, you're grooving your putting stroke. So you repeat that, repeat that, repeat that, and you should be able to do over 80% of your putt on a straight line from six feet. And the better you get at the short putt, the more fun you have putting. Once you accomplish that to do 100 putt from a straight line, I would suggest you to, like in this case here, to do a circle about four feet away from the hole. And this gives you a chance to practice left to right putts and right to, uh, right to left, left to right, uphill, downhill, straight putts, and so on. But the more you practice this, the more you succeed. The more you succeed, the more you want to do it. The more you do it, the better you get at it and the more fun it is playing golf. And like we, I was mentioning earlier, over 40% of our score in golf is putting. So this is a way to improve your score. And it puts a definitely a big smile on my face when I succeed like this. Here is the face on shipping golf club. It's very simple, but you will have some video on the website that will show you in more detail how it works. So please look at the other videos. Well, we are very proud to introduce you to our new uh, sand wedge. It's a 56 degrees and we call it the HBB. The reason we call it HBB means high bounce back. As you could see right now, when the club is in the middle of our stand, the leading edge of where we're striking the ball is touching the table. That means that when you would be striking the ball, the club would be keeping on going down. So you would take a nice divot and you would be able to compress the ball and generate more spin. So we do not want to have a bounce when we're in the middle of the fairway. But when we are in the bunker, we want to have bounce so the club doesn't dig in into the sand. The bounce was introduced in the 1920s to prevent the club of digging in into the sand. So there we go. So now if we place the club in more in the front of our stand, here's the bounce. The club will, if you hit the sand, will not dig in. But when we're in a fairway, we do not want to have bounce so that we could keep on going down and hitting on the ball and compress it to generate more spin. All right, how I set up personally for putting with the GP putter, with the face-on putting style or the side saddle putting. I personally put almost all my weight on the right foot. I lean to the right and forward. By doing this, I'm able to put my left hand at the top of the, the grip and I leave my putter plumb straight to the ground. I take the pencil grip, I place it in the back of the ball, I take a short back stroke and I accelerate into the putt.